Welcome to RX Consult Now. My name is Peace. And I'm Caroline. And I'm Terry. We are student pharmacists at UC San Diego's Skag School of Pharmacy. We each have had unique experiences working in the pharmacy and providing patient consultations. We have created this website to help you get the most out of your drug regimen. Our website contains important information on the top 10 most prescribed medications. At the end of the video, please click on the survey link to take a brief survey evaluating your experience. Please note that RX Consult Now is not intended to replace the advice of your doctor. Please talk to your doctor before starting or stopping any medication. This video will provide information on antibiotics, specifically ciprofloxacin. What is this medication for? This medication is commonly used to treat or prevent infections caused by bacteria. Warning. Taking ciprofloxacin can increase the risk of tendonitis or tendon rupture during your treatment or for up to several months afterwards, especially in adults over 60 years old or those who have myasthenia gravis, organ transplants, rheumatoid arthritis, or kidney disease. Avoid heavy lifting and hard exercise to decrease this risk. How should you take this medication? You can take this medication with or without food. Do not split, crush, or chew the tablets. You should take dairy products, juices with added calcium, antacids, and vitamins at least six hours before or two hours after taking this medication. Be sure to avoid caffeine and drink plenty of water while taking this medication. Avoid prolonged exposure to the sun and wear sunscreen to prevent getting burned. Talk to your doctor about other medications, supplements, or herbals you are taking. If you miss a dose, take it as soon as you remember. But if it is almost time for your next dose, skip it and take your next dose as regularly scheduled. Do not take two doses at once. What should you expect from this medication? You may feel better during the first few days, but continue taking the medication until the pills are gone. If you stop taking the medication early, your infection may not completely go away and may come back. When taking this medication, you may have nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, heartburn, diarrhea, or increased scent sensitivity. Stop taking this medication and tell your doctor if you have swelling around your muscles or joints, swelling of your mouth, lips, or tongue, trouble breathing, severe or bloody diarrhea, irregular heartbeat, or cola-colored urine. Thank you for visiting RX Consult now. We hope the information provided was both helpful and informative. And should you require any further information, please talk to your doctor or local pharmacist. And remember, good, good health begins, begins with you. you.